Hey, Bruce Naylor here, your Boomer Consumer. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate your comments, and if you're not a subscriber to this channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell whenever I post a new video. So, <laughs> if you talk to a lot of people, they say this guy is a pretty cheap guy. And uh, But I, I do look for value in the things that I do. I happen to be a big fan of vintage audio gear. Now, up until recently, I have been a subscriber to Amazon Music Unlimited. And I joined the Apple One subscription for a variety of reasons, but ultimately is going to replace, or Apple Music is going to replace, my Amazon Music subscription. Now, I've been using an Echo Link with my Vintage Pioneer uh, Hi-Fi system. But I wanted to look into adding AirPlay and how to get that into the system. Well, you can buy streamers for five, six hundred bucks or more uh, to do that job. Or I think Belkin makes a device for around a hundred bucks to add AirPlay to. But I was looking for something even less expensive. And you know what? I came across this idea. Why not buy an older Airport Express and use it as an AirPlay device. And that's exactly what I did. So AirPlay 2 will allow me to stream music in CD quality, the 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. Can it do more? I think so. I've been doing some research on it, a lot of differing opinions. But for sure, as of today, 16-bit, 44.1 CD quality, and Apple's format for that is ALAC, which is their version of FLAC files. All right, so let's get started with the Airport Express. So I went on eBay, and I found the model is the A1392, which is the second generation of the Airport Express. That's the one you really want to pick up. And you can find them anywhere from $30 to $60, roughly, on eBay. And generally, they're going to be in pretty doggone good condition. So I went ahead and bought one. I think I paid around 40 bucks for it. And when I got it, uh, I was surprised it actually came with an Ethernet cable. It came with the Airport Express that actually looked to be in pretty good shape. A few minor, small scuffs on there, nothing major. Everything looked fine. And then it also came with what appears to be the power cable that ships with the Airport Express. So... Pretty pleased for around 50 bucks or so. Uh, doggone good deal in my opinion. And one of the cool things about the Airport Express is it comes with a 3.5 millimeter audio output jack, but it's also optical out as well with the assistance of a mini Toslink to Toslink cable for around six bucks. You can output the audio of this into an external DAC. Okay, setting it up on my iPhone 11 was actually pretty simple. Now, first thing I had to do was download and install the airport uh, utility on my phone. Now, once I did that, I then went to the network settings and then I chose setup for the airport express and then I chose to add it to an existing network, then join that network. I double-checked the firmware to make sure it was on 7.81, which is the latest firmware. I chose Enable AirPlay, and then I gave the speaker a name. I named it Pioneer Speaker, and that's, that's what it's hooked up to, right? Now, I thought it sounded really good using an RCA uh, cable into 3.5 millimeter uh, in the back of the uh, output of the Airport Express, but I decided to take it one step further. I'm going to have a... Uh, extra skit audio modi 3 you know the name of the company and i used that mini toss link to toss link cable instead of the 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone cable and then that goes into the uh, skit audio modi 3 dac and the sound improved i got to be honest with you i thought it sounded way better with the external DAC than the internal DAC. It's not bad. CD quality is not bad. Now, I know there's going to be com uh, people commenting about lossless audio and all this other stuff. As I understand it, Apple may do something with AirPlay to support the high-res lossless, but I don't think that's an effect yet. But 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz, that's a go. 
Now I can stream music from my iPad, my phone. I can add it to the home app in here, create a scene if I want. There's a lot of possibilities that I can use this for. And all in, I'm around under $60 to add Airport 2 to my existing Hi-Fi gear. And there's a lot of different ways you can use this thing. And of course, with the home app, you can, in AirPlay 2, you can do multi-room scenarios and a lot of different cool things with it. But for my purposes, just enabling AirPlay on my vintage receiver, fantastic. For my purposes, the Airport Express offers real value. I was way less than the cost of the Belkin um, device or the cost of something like a Blue Note 2i, under 60 bucks all in. I can't complain. And, you know, will it, you know, will Apple continue to support the Airport Express with firmware updates? Probably not, probably not. But for the interim period, I really can't complain. Bruce Nettle, your boomer consumer, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.